Hey guys, Seth Cole here from the Ashley Sports Channel. I'm just gonna create a little bit more light here. Um, it's been a lot of stuff going on recently in the uh, NSA Sports Channel. Of course, we're getting the chases winding down, and uh, we're almost at the halfway point. And with everything that's been going on, I almost end up forgetting something that's supposed to take place around this time that almost didn't take place. I was very close to uh, forgetting it. Um, it's time now for the voting to go on to vote in the 2014 NSRA Hall of Fame drivers. Um, every year since 2011, uh, I've had uh, NSRA Hall of Fame vote and everything. I'm going to hold Cameron this other hand because this hand, I heard it a couple days ago and working the auctions hasn't helped. Anyway, that's just a stupid side note. Um, this year, uh, we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. Um, the last three years, it's been uh, three drivers get voted in, and in 2012, we had one driver actually get voted in two different categories, so we only had two entries into the Hall of Fame that year. This year, we're going to have five, but what's going to happen is I've already picked one driver that I know for certain is going to be in the Hall of Fame. It's not going to be voted in. It's my choice. I want this person in the Hall of Fame, and it's for a or actually, no, two drivers. Two drivers are specifically going to be getting into the uh, Hall of Fame this year. And uh, so, you know, if they don't get voted, they are going to get in. I'm not saying who they are, but if they don't get voted in, they're getting in anyway. So technically, what's going to happen here is you're going to be um, voting for either three or four drivers or five if those two drivers I'm thinking of end up getting in. So you, for the most part, are probably going to be voting in three drivers, pretty much. Um, but there are going to be five drivers that get in. Two of them I know for certain are going to get in because I'm going to put them in there uh, because I have I feel that they deserve to, but I'm not saying who they are. But uh, this is how it's going to go down. It's going to be done uh, via personal message to me, and I'll talk tell you guys how to do that in just a minute if you don't know how. Um, basically, uh, I, I thought about Skype, but not everybody has Skype. I thought about Facebook, but not everybody has Facebook. Uh, I thought about doing... Um, in the comments, but I don't want people to see what people other people are voting for, who they're voting for. I thought about doing a straw poll again. People would see who the others are voting for. Um, so I wanted to be done personal message. Now what you're going to do is you're going to send me a personal message. You are able to vote up to five drivers who have been actively in any of the series, the end of series series, Oreo Mobile or Snickers. I'll throw Last of Us Light series in there as well for the from this season. Um, you can vote up to five. You can or a minimum. There's a minimum of five drivers, a maximum of ten. You can vote for ten. Um, the only drivers that you are not allowed to vote for, though, are drivers that are already in the Hall of Fame. And if you don't know who they are, I'll go down through the list for you right now. The list is also in the description. You can look down there to see which drivers there are. Uh, class of 2011 included John Dillon, uh, Jake Rogers, who I just found out is retiring from the Under 2003 community. It was pretty sad to hear that. Uh, apparently, he's not returning for Season 9. I don't know what's up there, um, but that's what I heard. So, um, John Dillon, Jake Rogers, and Dougie Shears, they were class of 2011. Class of 2012 was Dylan Poteet and Trent Whitney. And class of 2013 was Dylan Young, John Cittadino, and Trent Dunham. You cannot vote for them, but you can vote for any other driver from season one up now to the current season uh, eight that is uh, has been in um, Oreo Mobile. Snickers, or Last of Us Light series from this season. Um, now, how do you send a personal message? If you look down in the description, the very first link, which is, I believe, youtube.com slash user slash NSRA slash about. If you go to that page, if you click that link, you'll see a whole description of my channel and everything, and then underneath that, there's a little flag, and next to that, there's a thing that says send message. If you click on that button, that's how you're going to be able to send me a personal message. That's the that's where the messages are going to come in through. That's how you're going to be able to vote. So what you do there is just put down uh, what vote, what drivers you want to vote for. You don't even have to say what your name is. Um, you know, just tell me the drivers you're voting for. But you cannot vote for yourself. That's another thing I forgot to say. You can't vote for the drivers down in the description, and you cannot vote for yourself. If you vote for yourself, I, I'll know who you are because I've I've kept a mental uh, picture of each. Uh, account name and everything and who they who their drivers are and everything so do not vote for yourself uh, but again you can vote uh, please vote for at least five drivers you can vote for up to ten drivers and uh, the voting 
uh, will close uh, at the end of November, and I'll be announcing the uh, Hall of Fame inductees um, somewhere around the 1st of December, right around the, the beginning of December. Um, again, two drivers are definitely getting in. The other three uh, will be voted in by you, unless you end up voting in uh, one or both of those two drivers that I'm thinking of. So that's basically all I have, guys. Um, you know, get voting and everything, and uh, we'll find out the results uh, once uh, December rolls around. So thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, see you next time.